You're absolutely right. It's because there hasn't been unity of purpose between Olaf Schultz, between uh, him, Macron, Biden, and indeed Johnson, that's allowed Putin to take advantage of our, our risk aversion to actually take on uh, Putin. Don't forget, this is what he did in Crimea. He did this in, uh, uh, in also in uh, Georgia as well. And we need to recognize that if there is a European security concern, that's what NATO needs to do, but it requires resolve. And this idea that Ukraine isn't a NATO member, let's not forget that it wasn't, Bosnia is not in the NATO, Kosovo is not in the NATO, Macedonia is not in the NATO, Libya is not in NATO, neither is Iraq or Afghanistan. Yet these are where we went because it was a requirement for us to stand up for international security. And that isn't happening right now. We have got this all wrong. We are starting to wake up. We're starting to regroup. But it's come very, very late in the day. We could consider a no-fly zone. Absolutely, that would be possible. But we also need to recognize that the consequence of an invasion, if we allow this to happen, we'll see oil and gas and food prices rocket right, you know, right out of proportion there. And not only that, where does Ukraine, sorry, where does Russia and where does China want to venture into next?